Super Smash Bros. Melee is a crossover fighting game developed by HAL Laboratory and published by Nintendo in 2001. Melee is the second game of the franchise in front of the original Super Smash Bros. and followed by Brawl, Wii U, and Ultimate. The game features characters from titles such as Mario, The Legend of Zelda, Star Fox, and Pokemon. Like the rest of the franchise, the game uses an unorthodox approach to the fighting game genre, making them unlike any other fighting game. They use a counter that measures damage with increasing percentages instead of a normal health bar, and the more the percentage goes up, the better chance you get knocked off the screen. Melee has received acclaim from both critics and fans alike, earning praise for its visuals at the time, simple controls, gameplay, and orchestrated soundtrack. To put it in more simpler terms, the game is now considered one of the greatest video games ever made, becoming GameCube's best-selling title. Now time for the juicy details. Melee is a widely played competitive video game, and it's even considered to be the most competitively viable game of the series. This installment was included in Major League Gaming's Pro Circuit from 2004 to 2007, and was also included in the Evolution Championship series all the way up to 2018. Alright, with our last history lesson out of the way, let's move on to some gameplay. What is up everybody and welcome to the season finale of Frank Gaming Season 2! As this week's episode is sponsored by this violin solo. Anyway, we have a very special episode for you guys. I'm not really going to be a part of it, but who is, is my brother Jesse, who's a very big Super Smash Bros. Ultimate player, and my good friend Landry, who's a very big Super Smash Bros. Melee player. They're going to go head-to-head -head in both games, and I thought this was a cool idea just to see the comparison between how they both play in both games, uh, and really see who the ultimate winner of Super Smash Bros. is. Uh, I do believe it's going to end in a draw, just because... Landry's very good at melee, and Jesse's very good at ultimate, but we'll see how it goes. Right now, we're going to go into some interview questions for both players until we get on to the main event. With that being said, let's get right to it. All right, Jesse, thank you for being here. Before we start the main event, I have some questions to ask you. So number one, what got you into Smash, and when did you realize you were amazing at the game? Uh, well, we had the game... The first game ever since we had the N64 when we were young and I just always loved it. When we were growing up, we had the N64 and so like we, we got the Smash 64 and we just played it forever. Come Brawl, I realized like I was actually kind of good. We just played Melee for, like for hours and hours because yeah. like you could just play it forever. I played a lot in Smash 4, put a lot of hours into that and now I'm finally like competing in Ultimate. I didn't really realize that I was good at the game until like a couple of years ago honestly because me and my boys found out about competitive smash and it's just been history from there which leads me to my next question have you gone to any tournaments and have you won any i go to a weekly tournament at platinum star games every wednesday uh i've won like a very few like smaller tournaments and then my best accomplishment after that was coming in second place in like an 80 man local the keen University where we went to school yes. uh, had their uh, had their collegiate smash tournaments and they had like weeklies and everything and so like I was uh, whenever I attended I pretty much won all of those. What made you decide that this was the installment of the game you wanted to be good at besides the other installments that came out? You always like love the character or you should love the character that you're playing and in Smash 4 I was a Yoshi main and I liked it but now after K. Rule came out, I finally found a character where I actually like love playing him, and he actually fits well in my playstyle. So that's why I've continued to grow in this game. In your case, it's melee. What made you decide to just stick with that rather than moving on to the newer installments? I don't know. Like it, something about the game just 
called to me, and mm-hmm. you know, it it was it was something like I had grown up with, and it was just nostalgic for me. And like, I found out that there was like this whole brand new like game inside the game. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so I wanted to just explore that. Do you have any experience in your opponent's main game? I do have experience in melee. I think I'll do decently well. I don't know like all the tech. Like, I'm not very good at wave dashing or anything, but my neutral game is pretty good, so I think I'll, I'll fare decently. I actually do not. I, I, uh, I know of, like, a couple tidbits of tech here and there, but as far as uh, everything else goes, I just like pressing buttons really fast. So yeah, I'm a melee player. <laughs> and what are your thoughts on everything going on with Nintendo right now with the melee controversy? Free melee, free melee, free smash. Dude, Nintendo, you're bugging. I don't know what's up. Sephiroth is cool, but it's not enough for us to forgive you. Hashtag free melee. That's all I gotta say. (laughs) Mic drop. Alright, thank you, Jesse. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck, my friend. Thank you, sir. No problem. You guys are good to go? Alright. Good luck. Alrighty, this is Frank here, being your commentator for today's games. We got Jesse as King K. Rule and Landry as Captain Falcon. We're already off to an interesting start here. Jesse not laying off the cannonballs as Landry tries to get a hit on him. Jesse seems to not be laying off of the vacuum in his gun either. Yikes. Jesse's still yet to have a hit on him. Oh, there we go with 10%, but a hard return back from Jesse. Oh, this might be a finisher here. Boom, Jesse with one kill, making it 3-2. You can tell that Landry is very more used to melee than this game. In his defense, he has never really played this game before. And it's kind of expected of what's happening right now. Uh, we'll see what happens when Jesse plays melee. Still trying to get him with the vacuum there. Ooh, Landry just did a classic melee move that didn't work as well in Ultimate. <laughs> Nice hit from Landry. Getting some damage there on King K. Rule. This is good. It is 3 1, though, at the moment. Some more hits for Landry. Oh, and a spike to finish the game for Jesse. I fucking love this matchup. But the sheep will say Captain Falcon wins it. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like whoever gets the first hit just punish super hard. Mm-hmm. I love those kinds of matchups. Town and City some brawl. All right, here we go with the second game of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Same matchup here: King K. Rule versus Captain oh. Falcon, and Jesse once again with the vacuum cannon. Landry has decided to choose Captain Val- Falcon. Quote saying he's one of the more neutral characters in the game, which does make sense. It also makes sense that he's using him once again just to get used to the character and potentially have a better match. They are also uh, on a map here that is tournament official as all the maps they'll be playing will be tournament official. Only makes sense and is the most fair as well. Nice dodge and recover by Landry. Ooh, but it does not matter as Jesse gets the first kill of the game. <laughs> nice kneecap by Landry. He's insane. Like, I literally don't understand the rationale. Beautiful combo by Jesse as he gets his second kill. That's what I'm saying. People are just like, people are like, yeah, he's bad. I'm like, what? <laughs> nice kneecap once again by Landry. He has definitely significantly gotten better since the first matchup. Nice spike. Beautiful kill by Landry. Yeah, <laughs> Closer game than the previous, that's for sure.
Jesse loves that cannon, and there he goes for the cannon spike. <laughs> That's the sucking cock. <laughs> 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 Incineroar was the slowest in the whole game. He is kind of Ganon esque, but like a lot better combos than Ganon. And here we go with our third and final game of Smash Bros. Ultimate. Jesse has chosen a different character, Incineroar, and as he just said, he is the slowest character of the game with just better combos. Landry a little short with his recovery there. But that's alright, let's see if he can make up for it. Nice combos by Jesse. And nice deflect as well. Nice kill by Landry. He can't spread. No, All right, two one. one. <laughs> Jesse in the lead at the moment. Jesse's a master at these deflects here with Incineroar. Not looking good for Landry. Oh, what the f oh, Yo, I have never seen that shit before. <laughs> And that here we are, 1-1, one, one, the kill. closest game so far of Ultimate between the two. But it ends Back there as Jesse one. as the victor. So what do you think of Ultimate? This is your first time playing? Yeah. What do you think? I dig it, honestly. It's just like, so heavy on neutral. You know? Very heavy on neutral. Yeah. Very. You just have to get up your habits. Yeah, you gotta play so much more patient, but like, I like it. I dig it. Yeah, I'd say... Like, for those that do play Melee and are looking to reach out, this is, like, probably the best one, because Smash 4, like, comparatively, I mean, if you play Brawl right after play, you play Melee, you'll be like, am I on drugs? Like, why is it going so slow? <laughs> and then Smash 4 is, like, a little bit faster than Brawl, and then this, like, I think this is, like, the speed, I think they almost perfected it, like, I don't know. No. Melee is, like, for the competitive scene... The speed of Melee is fantastic, obviously. Everyone loves it. Yeah. We, people are still playing it from 2001. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that complements the casual as well. I could agree with that. I yeah, think this game sure. is like really the best of both worlds. Yeah, like you could just pick it up and just fuck around, you know? Right. You still enjoy it. You exactly, know? exactly. Because yeah. they have the tech in this shit too. Like, I don't know. I think, I think this is the best one to date. But I understand the argument for Melee players. Yeah. No, that's cool though. Like the pacing, it, it's not like, like it's it's slower obviously for melee, but right. like it's not like Smash Four was. You know what I mean? Yeah. I felt like yeah. I'm just getting camped out every game. And yeah, because like, that's yeah. all Smash Four was. It was all campy. But this game, you just have like you have options. You neutral is the most important thing. But now that we have 70 plus characters, like neutral could mean different things. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah, I, that's why I appreciate this game. Not to say that I don't like Melee, of course I love <laughs> Melee, but like, I appreciate this game more. Yeah, that's sick, dude. Yeah. I can see why. It's, it's a lot of fun, man. It is a lot of fun. I enjoy it. Yeah, <laughs> You're gonna need it, kid. And here we go with the first matchup of Smash Bros. Melee, Landry's Turf, as he's decided to choose his main Falco, as Jesse decided to go with Princess Peach. Oh, <laughs> and Jesse's recovery a little too short there. You also go with Four Stock, which is tournament rules for Melee across the board.
Jesse doing fairly well for his first game playing. But will that mean he wins? And another mistake by Jesse, clearly still getting used to the game. A mistake by Landry, surprise there, but it's he's still in the lead here, three to two. Landry loves the deflect, you could tell very much. Beautiful kill by Landry, almost trying to fake Jesse out there for a second. Jesse has been loving the butt bomb move by Princess Peach, if that's what you want to call it. I have no idea what it's actually called. The deflect into the spike for Falco, a classic move by him in melee, and Landry seems to love it as well. Beautiful spike by Landry to end the first game of melee. Dude, it's so weird. The time just like things are not popping out like I want them to. All right, for this f second game, they have decided to go to Fountain of Dreams, but same matchup here: Falco versus Princess Peach. Once again, makes sense for Jesse to stay with Peach just to get used to the character and the game overall. <laughs> The butt bomb move by Princess Peach. He loves it. Nice kill by Landry, with only 65% damage, 4 lives still. <laughs> Landry is just going super fast with it. You could tell he's an expert at the game, trying to keep Jesse up in the air as much as possible it seems. Beautiful kill by Landry. This might be a four stop, people. Beautiful spike by Landry. Seems so natural the way he does it. Ooh, nice hit by Princess Peach. Landry had no choice but to just recover off screen. Keeping Peach up in the air. Even with the shield, Jesse still gets hit by Falco. Nice recover hit by Falco as well. Landry seems to love that gun, although I haven't seen him really get as many hits with it yet. 
it seems to cancel out any of Peach's moves and really just delay her movements. And there you have it, the second game. And here we go with the third and final matchup of Melee. Jesse has decided to choose a different character, Yoshi, who is usually his main in Smash 4 and sometimes in Ultimate, even though he really means King K. Rool in uh, Smash 5. But Landry seems to be giving no mercy here, keeping Yoshi up in the air. Nice kneecap with a very quick first kill in this match. If Landry wins this game, he makes it a tie for the whole tournament. <laughs> Although Landry said that Falco was his main, he seems to be doing a lot better with Captain Falcon, or that might just be me. seems to be a very much a more quicker paced game than the previous two melee matches, which I'm enjoying a lot to be honest. Beautiful kneecap. Such a killer move. No chance of recovering there. Now this match might be the four stock we were looking at before. Oh! Wow! It still works. <laughs> damn it! Oh, damn, son. That was some good shit. Thanks. Hell yeah. This game is fun as hell. I'm just not cut out for it. <laughs> <laughs> Well guys, there you have it. Jesse beat Landry's ass in Ultimate, and Landry beat Jesse's ass in Melee. It was much expected. Like I said in the beginning, the overall game was probably going to end up in a draw, which it just so happened to be. With that being said, both players have much respect for each other in their respected games, showing good gamer companionship. Anyway, that's all I have for you for this episode, and that's all I have for you for this season of Frank Gaming Season 2, so I hope you enjoyed, I hope you enjoyed all the unofficial sponsors I presented to you, and of course, I hope you enjoyed all the gameplay that I showed to you as well. And that's pretty much it. We will see you for Season 3 of Frank Gaming sometime next year, but until then, peace out. It's nice to rest your eyes and maybe go outside grab a book and get some air so what are you waiting for bum, 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 bum. why not take a quick break to the radio Chores to do, there's leaves to rake Strum the old banjo You can practice your lindy hop bum, 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 bum. And maybe later sing with your barber shop Why? Why not take a little quick break And come back for more Or Then come back for more Please come back for more.